Hello guys and Hi. welcome back. We are currently in Dacha, down on the Dacha Peninsula and oh my god is it beautiful. So we thought we'd bring you along. Yeah, come see, come on. So Dacha is this tiny little kind of marina town on the very tip of uh, the oh. South Peninsula from Marmaris down and we didn't know really what to expect. We'd seen some people's videos and shown that it was beautiful but it's even more beautiful in real life. The drive here was insane, yeah. um, the views, the water is so clear and so like calm it's just like flat like glass it's amazing and it's just got a really nice vibe about it loads of people milling around having coffee and tea here's midday so probably a beer or two yeah. the beaches are beautiful yeah, it's, it's stunning the first time I've put my feet in the sea in weeks and weeks and weeks. Maybe the whole time I've been in Turkey? No. But anyway, a long time. And the water is so nice. It's crystal clear. It's almost like a Greek beach. Like how beautiful the water is in Greece. It's amazing. Oh, it makes me want to go for a swim. Chips and a toasty on the beach. I'm very smashed up. I was hungry. Yeah. We had a little wrap for breakfast, so. Yeah, that was like an hour ago. Don't tell everyone. <laughs> Mrs. I wasn't hungry. Finish the chips. Anyone else love the little crispy ones at the bottom? Mix doesn't like them and I love them. It's like we're a match made in heaven. Well, I'm definitely not hungry now. Should I keep walking? Yes. Okay. Not only is this little bay really picturesque with the views of like the Greek islands in the background, I think it's uh, Simi is the island that you can see. You've, it's also got like a really cool vibe. There's loads of locals around compared to loads of the places we've been in Turkey that have just been like dead in winter season. It's full of life. You can obviously hear the lapping of the waves, the fishermen going out chugging on their boats. Kids are like skimming stones on the beach. People are just sat enjoying life. Kids playing in the playground on a Friday. It's just, it's a really, really nice vibe here. It's like a British summer, but in February. Yeah. <laughs> the start of February yeah. as well. <laughs> it's really warm. Really warm. Really, 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 really warm. Really, 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 really warm. <clears throat> Can't stop looking at it. I know. So we've been parked in this random hotel car park uh, that we just spot spotted on the way, but we've actually found a nicer, almost incredible view, yeah. haven't we? Yes. So I think we're going to try and move our orange beast over there. Hopefully have a beautiful view for the night. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. And then How's that? Perfect. 
we have decided tonight whilst we're just chilling at this lovely spot with a beautiful view that we are gonna get our barbecue out because it's meant to be quite a mild evening and we've not done that in ages so I'm just making up a few veggie skewers with a bit of halloumi boil in some potatoes make a bit of potato salad we've got olives and bread and all loads of picky stuff so that's what we're gonna do this evening and hopefully catch a bit of the sunset look at this cute little setup got the veggie kebabs on the go with some halloumi a nice beer potato salad made by yours truly no that would be you <laughs> her truly <laughs> and then the sun is just set and look at the color of the sky i generally think this is the first time that we've done this on this trip isn't it yeah I think this is the first time ever where we've not got the chairs out and we just sat on the floor. Yeah. Like a little Instagram couple. I, I swear know, this yeah. is what they do on Instagram. Like put your put your beautiful carpet out. Ours is this little rattan. <laughs> Our old bed cushions that now live in the garage. But they work quite well. It's lovely. And then you've got uh, that that chair just over there. And Night, eh? Indeed. I'm really happy we decided to do this. Me too, Bob. Me too. Go team! Go team Orange! Good morning, chaps and chapesses. Today is another beautiful day in Dacha, and I am going to go for a walk. I have the best walking attire ever. Look at that. Look at those socks. <laughs> and Courtney here. I don't get to go for the walk. I have to edit tonight's video. So I'll be here enjoying the view with a nice pot of coffee. But I'm going to take you on this walk and we shall see what we see. So to give you a little bit of detail on where I'm planning on going, there's a beach that you can only get to by either walking or boat about six miles away so i'm going to attempt to make it there um it's quite a big hill on the way and first i need to go and buy some lunch so i've had to walk about 15 minutes in the wrong direction to get some lunch for this walk but i've been able to get one of these vegan coffees yeah a very questionable cheese sandwich and then some Lipton iced tea. Couple that with the Snickers and the nuts and the fruit that I've already got in the bag. I think I should be all right. So now I'm actually gonna walk back 15 minutes and start this walk. I just wanna say the park up where we've actually parked is amazing. I think you can see a little bit of orange just in between the trees, that's us. And that's just sticking out looking over Dacha. Wonderful, and what a day for it as well. Nothing but blue everywhere. Little arrow, little bit's going that way. I'm on the right path. I'm exhausted. God, I'm unfit. I barely even climbed it. <laughs> but. I am enjoying myself, which is the main thing, right? Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. There is a live turtle. Oh my God. Just on the side of a hill. What? Hello? Hello, it's okay. Oh, you are beautiful. Oh my god! Hello. You can walk if you want. Oh my god. That is the best. He's just sitting there. I'm speechless. I'm a bit touched that I've seen that. And look at where I am as well. Look at that. I mean, only in Turkey. I've literally just turned round, and that guy down there, 
Oh, I've spotted another one. Sun in itself. How many more? So that's Tommy and this is Tina. Say hi everyone. Isn't nature fantastic? I am over the moon with seeing that. Wow. Genuinely like, I'm a bit like, ah. <laughs> Buzzing. It might be to do with the heart rate that's like maxed out from climbing. But I'm now on the path to the destination, which I'm hoping is going to be a beautiful beach all to myself. I can't, I can't stop looking now for. Is it turtles or tortoise? Somebody please explain in below in the comments because I don't know which one it is and I'd hate to say the wrong thing, but boom. That's so good. Walking up here by myself, like it makes you realize that you're very often not alone in this world. Whether that's with your partner or your loved one. No offence Courtney, I love spending time with you. Or whether it's in a crowded city or town or even just, you know, on a street where there are other houses. But being here, on this, I guess, remote outcropping, on a tiny little path with just the wind, flies slash wasps, whatever they are, and the sun, it makes me feel like I'm truly by myself which I didn't realize felt so good. And I think we all need to remember that a little bit because it's so easy to be with other people, be that on social media, especially after lockdown and stuff, we all want to be with each other, but spending time outside in places like this, I guess they say nature's like, I don't know, the world's medicine. I've just made that up, but it'll do for now. Okay, I'm starting the biggest climb I've got. I don't know how high it is. I think it's about a thousand feet in total. And I'm getting hungry. I'm gonna have this really questionable cheese sandwich. Uh -huh. Oh, we're in. Mm. It's like bits of hard cheese with cheap cream cheese, I hope, on what looks like the least nutritious bread of all time. Take that back, it's actually quite nice. Fed, kinda. <coughs> Watered, kinda. Now I'm gonna head up the hill. I will see you at the top. Oh. <sighs> Made it. I think it's 1,074 feet. Wow. Let's show you the view, eh? I tell you, I really hope this beach is worth it because this descent, which is probably a thousand feet because that was the highest point that I was just at, is quite steep. And yeah, a little bit loose underfoot, but ooh, <laughs> as he says, yeah, 
just gonna take it easy. Another turtle, tortoise. Go on, son. Don't get stuck. Just got my first glimpse of the beach right the way down there. Oh, I really hope it's nice. Oh, and we are down. That was quite. St There's houses. I made it down to the beach. Yes, there is a person that lives there. Um, rustic. I'll try and show you on the way back. Uh, there's a bar, I imagine for high season, when the boats come in maybe. But I'm going to go along to the edge and I'm going to chill the out. Oh my god, look at how clear this water is. Perfect. Wow. Okay. What I really want to know, how did that guy get there? Built a little house, like not just out of wooden sticks, it's a proper bricks and mortar house. There's a bar. It makes me think that I've walked all this way and there might actually be a road that takes you right here. Guess it's the journey that counts. Okay, feeling a bit refreshed, a little stiff, but nothing too bad. Let's make our way down to Dacha. I'm very nearly home and I don't think I've been greeted with as nice a view as this. Look at that, it's so peaceful and quiet and chill like and just in those trees over there there's our orange beast there she is only seven and a half hours later but I'm back I'm sweaty, I'm tired and I am going to change and shower. How many miles was that? So that's about 13 and a half miles. I bloody did it, didn't I? Really proud, really happy. I'm not going to do something like that for a while though. Let these legs recover. I'll see you in a bit.